Happy New Year and welcome to Strategic Command World War One. I'm Paradox Gamer. Thank you for joining me here, starting on the Western Front in August 26, 1916. Um, these guys over here are on pretty low morale. And they're not entrenched anyway, so I think we'll uh, swap them out with somebody else. So we'll move them out and move these guys in there. Replenishing over here. Uh, da, 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 da. These guys are also ready to move out. Head back there and head back there. And let's send some other guys in there. Yeah, these guys will do. And these guys will do. They will take over some of the entrenchments. We can see that here. These guys will just stay put. And I think that's it for the Western Front. I don't think we lost anybody. No. We do have one in production. Bulgarian bombers and the tanks are also coming for the next spring. Alright, that was the Western Front. Let's go east. Uh, we need to take Ahrensburg and then move somewhere else. No? Oh, we were out of supply. Okay. Fair enough. We'll just take Ahrensburg there, get some supply back up, and then we can head back in. Let's see if Nava has been. Okay. But it's only a detachment. Let's take a shot at it. And then over here, we'll just move up here, move there, move there. See so if we can take out that artillery straight away. Yes. Get this one a little bit closer, like here. Replenish this guy. And we're ready to take this town next turn. Luca. Mm, 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 mm. I think we want to move around a little bit here. And get the headquarter over there. Oh, I need to switch that around next turn. Right. I should remember that. Now this is interesting. If we take a look at the supply here, we can see that we now have full supply of five or more up until here, but not not here yet. Because this particular one here is only four. Uh, so I can move one headquarter over there and the next turn I can move one over here. Because this one will then be supply five. We can see that by clicking once more. No, that will still be four. But it will be five when I get to the other headquarter over there. So knowing that headquarter will be right here, we need to have nothing in the way of it. I think this one will just check the enemy there. And then these guys will move up here. What is the current supply here? It's 5432. Let's go over there. We can see the uh, defenses of Moscow. And so now we can rail this guy up to here. Oh, I can go over there. Nice. Didn't know that. So he could go here. That means we can move up to here and here and then rail the other one in right this one will replenish and this one moving closer this one will take over the guard duty of Smolensk and we just need to remember Viesma here is also partisan activity 
So I think we'll just put the cavalry there since I've uh, run out of detachments. Bryansk is the same way. I've run out of detachments, so I need someone there. This one will guard it for now, and then this cavalry will come up and take over that guard duty, and that frees up this guy. Now one thing I could do is go nuts down here, but this is really the Austrian area of interest. I think I'd rather just um, hook up to the other Germans up here. If I go there, and everything will be hooked up, and I think we'll get this area as well. And we still have the guys in Tula. I could try and see if the if Ryazan is um, defended, and if it is, then I will move them up here somewhere. So let's check that out. Okay, Ryazan is defended by a cavalry in it. So I'll come up this way. Enemy contact. Okay, at the gates of Moscow. And it's still August, so I think I should have enough time before winter sets in to actually grab the city. I think I have enough guys here for that. And we'll be moving these guys back west. I could also sail them there, but this is free. Just move. Move back for free. This is just a railway line? Yeah. Right, go here. Okay. Austrians. Let's see if we can finish this for now. Two. Two. That's it. So we'll leave one guy in Kiev. And uh, the rest will... Uh, can we get this guy to fall? Yeah, let's just get this guy to fall then. Move up. Move up. And move up. Attach these guys here. Oh, this is automatic. Alright, that's fine. We can they can stay automatic here. So let's see. This is supply ten, which is really, really nice. I think we'll keep it there. I think we can take this straight up. Yes. Go there. And come down to here. Cut off the headquarter. So, do we have the strength to take Odessa? I don't think so. So then I could just shoot at the headquarter instead. These guys will stay put. And this cavalry, we can use it to render this one out of supply. And then we'll only have one movement point. What is its current supply situation? Let's see here. It supplies three from where? Does it get supply from this one? I think we'll go out and take this and then move back. And then cut it off. I don't think it can go to Kherson. It should only have one movement point. 
So let's do this. Um, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. This one, how much supply will that give? Eight, seven, seven, six, five. So eight. I think it's better to put it down here now, because the two uh, headquarters will work together. So, Romania. We want to take Galati. I have six shells here. Let's just pump that into Galati. Uh, do I need all of that? No. I'll just pump the last two into the detachment over here. Hmm, really? Okay. There we go. So move these guys over. Something like that. And then this one, Cryova. I don't have any artillery that can reach. Let's try this one first. I just need one more. And then I need to move in, of course. I think we can move in from this side. Yes. Right, keep the uh, stuff on the railway lines. Yes, alright, that's fine. That's the end of Romania. Russian morale is 9. So I'm pretty sure what once I take Odessa, which I will next turn, they should fold. I don't even have to take Moscow. Greece also will fold now. Um, can replenish this guy. And start moving up towards um, Tirana with this one. Yep. Okay, that's it for Bulgaria. Now, the Turks. Looks like the the Russians moved one of the artilleries out. Still one in there. I can move this guy in. The morale is only 20 though. I really need these guys up there. So I will switch around with the detachment. Next turn I can move in, if nothing else has happened there. And replenish the detachment. This guy cannot replenish. I can move the cavalry up here to get a side shot on those guys. What is their morale? 39. Okay, let's move the cavalry up there. Threaten them there. And dig in, maybe. These guys are not dug in. Make sure they do that here as well. These guys are dug in. No, they're not. Okay, rotate it there. 
Okay. Further down here, colonial core is there. Let's take it out. Yeah, the Brits are really hurting now. We'll get the last core over. I think we can start offensive operations here soon. One turn for preparations. Get this guy back to 10. And then we can start moving. Nothing's happening over here. We'll just replenish this one. I still got 236 points left. We have some navy. this one back to 10 I think that's it so we still got 200 points let's see if we can purchase anything for the Ottomans we've got all the destroyers should be regular course but we don't have enough points for that so what about research uh, no I think we're good so Austria research for Austria nothing what should they buy then Was I looking at the wrong one? No, this is the one. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do we have the artillery? I can get one more submarine. Now the Germans go back to the Navy. Let's check the research first. We did get industrial tech, but I don't think we'll have enough time to actually benefit from trying one more. It takes a long time to just go one level. As you can see, we're only at level two now. So I think I'm going to stop that, as well as production tech. Stop those at two. Or I could put three chits in to get one more. That's 330. And the industrial tech, I don't know how much it will actually go up. I don't think it's worth it. I could be wrong. But amphibious, we will go to level two. Or try to. And I think that's it. So we'll get fighter development next turn. So that will uh, we'll continue with that. And soon we'll get infantry weapons level 2 as well, so we have a lot of things to upgrade. Now let's go to the Navy. Cruiser upgrades the naval. This light cruiser is done. This battle cruiser is done. This battleship is going to go naval. This light cruiser is going naval and anti-sub. Dreadnought is going naval. Dreadnought is going naval. Battle cruiser is going naval. Battleship is going naval. And another dreadnought is going naval. And we still need to put this light cruiser somewhere. As it can go there. And the newly acquired submarines, these two will also have to be upgraded. But there's no port for them. I don't think they can reach over here now. Okay.
So everything is upgraded except for these two submarines. Maybe we should start putting the navy out to sea then. The destroyers will I will keep in the back and wait for enemy submarines to arrive, but we can get the battleships and dreadnoughts out here. The battle cruiser, this one has moved. Dreadnought. Cruiser. So we have all the destroyers here in the back. Move the light cruiser there, battle cruiser there. Okay. Can we buy more of these maritime units? I'm not sure. No, just one marine. I can buy more more destroyers. Not sure if I need them. How many do I have? Uh, one, two, th no. That's that's one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six destroyer units. Three fifty nine points. I could go for the Bulgarians. Uh, they will need a fighter. So let's get a fighter for them. That's a hundred points. Um, they can also get another core. And a cavalry core. Yeah, let's buy that up first. Fourth army. And then the cavalry core next time. Okie dokie, I think that's the turn. Don't think the Russians will fold now, but they will very soon. Are we moving some of these guys forward? No, just leave them there, that's fine. I like turn. Romania surrenders. Austria plunders a lot of points. Merchantmen getting destroyed. Conscription leads to industrial unrest in Sheffield. Rough seas. Germany develops fighter development level 1. And artillery weapons level 2. Very nice. Mobility goes to 87. <clears throat> von Hindenburg replaces von Falkenhayn as chief of staff. Does that mean I lose the Hindenburg uh, headquarter? Hope not. No, I, th I, I see it at the bottom there. So, I didn't lose it. He might have been, re been replaced with a less durable leader. So, yeah, Russia has not folded yet. And uh, Greece... I didn't see Greece surrendering either. It's a bit odd. They still have one unit and one town, so I guess I have to take that. Yeah, there it is. Well, we'll just have to deal with it. Black Sea Fleet is still lurking around. Mm. 
Van is getting hit again. So no supply coming from there. That doesn't really matter. We have Ellis secured. Bombings, the usual stuff. And the usual places. And now the artillery fire on Mets. Starting to take uh, damage. I will probably lose Mets again, and this is gonna go back and forth forever. Here comes the ground assault. I think I have enough shells for defensive artillery, but it's not it's not gonna cut it. They still have four shots. And they need just one more. Which is coming there. That should be the end of that. And they still have two more that could have attacked. So not even close again. The cavalry goes in. It takes a shot at the artillery. We'll have to move that out of the way. in the Basra area, Baghdad area. It's time to uh, get on the offensive here. Replenishment in Nava. I need more than one cavalry to get through. Artillery is in the back as well. I could also just move out of the way not taking Nava since uh, Russia will fall soon there's no need of uh, spending a lot of uh, points trying to take towns that is unimportant basically French are taking that empty spot. It's a very dangerous place to be in, and it's only six strength. So it's a it's a it's a core that I will destroy, together with the cavalry, and retake Metz the next time. Attrition losses for the Russian cavalry, which is out of supply there. Socialist agitation lowers Russian Russian determination to continue the war. And the Russian government's position is weakened by the loss of Romania. Russia surrenders. There we go. Didn't even have to take uh, Odessa. The Ottoman Empire gains territory in the Caucasus. And Germany controls the administration of Polish Russia. And the blockades. So as we can see, all my uh, units have now been moved west freely and are now stationed around Poland. Intelligence reports. Following Erik von Falkenhayn's dismissal from his position as chief of the general staff, he has requested a command in the field. Providing him with the necessary logistical support will cost us 200 points or 50 points a turn for, for four turns. Would you like to provide von Falkenhayn with a field command or shall we let him retire into obscurity? Given that we now have four headquarters uh, in the east and we don't really need more than a couple, um, I'm going to go with a no here. 
because we don't need that extra headquarters. So it's, it's just a waste of 200 points, really. So that's a no. And the Saxon core is back. And we can put that in Koblenz. And another destroyer for the Austrians. And that's it. So let's just take a look at the map here. Um, yeah, so everybody's back from Russia. Some of them have been put down here. And some of them have been put up here. But they are all going to go west. And uh, the next step is to uh, take Britain. And for that I need some forces up here with a couple of headquarters, the marines, and I need to clear the path with my navy which is uh, just about getting ready. So it's uh, about time. Meanwhile we will take Greece, of course. Oh, they have another detachment down there. Uh, Greece and Albania. The Bulgarians are still working on that. Now have all the Austrians as well, so we can rail them in and take Albania. The Ottomans now have a lot of freed up units that they can send either to Baghdad or to uh, the Sinai area. Basically we have so many units now that we don't really know what to do with them. Um, right, and I think that's it for the this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.